Let's have a look then at multiplying and dividing simple algebraic fractions. So, what is an algebraic fraction? Well, it's a fraction that contains pronumerals. And here we're trying to multiply them. Now, if you think back to the rules on multiplication of fractions, it's uh, really quite easy. All you have to do is multiply the tops together and multiply the bottoms together. So I'll write it out like this 4a times 2a and 3 times 5. Now uh, we can, uh, <clears throat> I'll just write it out an extra step. You'll get quicker at this and you, uh, I'm, I'm doing more steps than necessary, but uh, 4 times 2 times a times a. Okay, so you're multiplying the numbers together. And I'll just free write that. So we get 8 and a by a, a times a is uh, a squared. So we write that and all over 15. Now let's have a look at another one. And uh, I'll make that six A over four B squared B over four. Now uh, we could go ahead here and multiply the tops and the bottoms, but it's always easier if you cancel or simplify any common factors before multiplying. That way you're working with smaller numbers. Small, smaller numbers are easier to multiply. So, uh, so we, we, could, uh, we could simplify this fraction. It doesn't matter which way you do it, but uh, let's say 2 goes into that twice and 2 goes into that three times. This is going to give us um, easier multiplications and it will mean we don't need to uh, simplify a larger fraction uh, later or larger numbers later so so let's write it out 3a times 3a squared b over uh, 2b times 4 now I'm going to write this extra step uh, you don't have to do this, but I'm just um, now. I suppose I I could have cancelled some other things earlier, but uh, let's have a look at what's here now. I can. Um, Because I've set it out like this, if you have something at the top at the b and the bottom of common factor, you can cancel those factors. Okay, now you look for any other ones. Uh, no. So we are left with 9a cubed over 8. Now um, that's multiplication. Let's have a look at division. Uh, what? So, division is really just a reciprocal operation of multiplication. So, it's a uh, it's a well, very similar process. Now, here we have one fraction divided by another. Uh, let's change it into a multiplication problem. And what do I mean by that? Well, we can change a question to make it a multiplication. All we have to do is 
uh, reciprocate this uh, fraction on the right. So let's have a look at what that looks like. So I'll just rewrite the question. Instead of a multiplication, uh, a division, I'm writing a multiplication, and that is, but I'm reciprocating, I'm flipping it over, C over 2A. Now, again, before multiplying, look for uh, uh, common factors if, if you want to make the, the number multiplication smaller. Uh, what I might do here is, I mean, I could start cancelling, but I'm going to write it out just to um, just to show you. Okay, uh, so I'm going to write it in factored form here. So uh, two times six is twelve times a times a is uh, times b times c and. 7 times 2 times A times C. Now, uh, this is just a visualization step, so you, you, you probably wouldn't need to do this, but uh, I'm just doing this so you can see the cancelling of the factors more clearly. So look for any common factors here. Is the 2 and the 2, so this is where you would say our 2 goes into 2 once, 2 goes into 12 6 times. Okay, so that's the effect is I'm cancelling the common factor. Okay, I'm cancelling here the common factor of a in the a squared. Okay, there's this, this a times a is what makes up the a squared, and here we have that common factor of um, c at the end. And once I've uh, now remember you can only do this from the top to the bottom okay you cannot cancel common factors next to each other that's uh, that's an illegal operation and the maths police will, will come and get you um, so stick to um, cancelling factors from the top and the bottom uh, okay and then we can put it all back together 6ab over 7 Okay, let's just take a look at a couple more examples. And we'll say a squared four over twelve times nine. Okay, go ahead and try this one. Now uh, let's see how we might do this. Now before I was writing it out in expanded form simply to show you highlight the factorizer uh, the, the the cancelling of the f common factors uh, we can do that okay you'll get better at it and just let's start doing it straight away okay so you say well if this is at the bottom here let's just treat this as one whole fraction okay if you visualize it like that um, and we can just say, well, there's four B's at the bottom, four B's at the top. They can cancel. Now, remember, it doesn't cancel to equal zero. They're cancelling because they uh, divide to equal one. Okay, so everything else remains the same. Uh, here, A squared cancels. And, uh, well, what goes into this common factor of, of three here? So not, three goes into nine three times. 3 goes into 12 four times. So what we're left with is simply 3 quarters. Okay, let's try another one. Okay, so this is a division, but let's change it into a multiplication. So you go ahead and try that now, and let's see what you get. Okay. Right, so 
we'll just rewrite it out. Um, instead of divide, we're multiplying, but we're reciprocating. Okay, so this um, sometimes I like to write it like this just to remember to do it properly. Okay. So what was at the bottom now goes at the top, and um, what was at the top goes to the bottom. So let's see what can cancel. So again, if you you still uh, if you uh, if you want to if you're not too sure about what you're doing, it is a a good idea to uh, expand it out. So, uh, so let's well, let's just do it this way. So we'll say well x squared that cancels with the two. There's three x's at the bottom, so um, three factors of x. So we'll cancel the, the cube out. Just leave us with the x. Okay. Uh, what else? There is the three. Three goes once, and three goes six times in the eighteen. Uh, we've got a y at the top here, we've got 5 at the bottom, so we'll change that to a 4. Um, and we've got a 4 at the top, and which goes once and goes twice at the bottom. So you can see it does get a little bit messy when you start cancelling out like this without setting it out in the factored form. Compare that to this, okay. It's a little bit extra work, but the chance of a silly mistake I think is much reduced but people like to do it this way so a little um, a little tip perhaps is just to uh, circle what's left sometimes it can, the working can get lost okay so there's a two there there's a six there there's a four y's okay there's the x nearly lost that one um, that's and there's one and one okay so one by one is one and at the bottom we have two and well I'll write it out um, and now it's in alphabetical order the pronumerals so x y x y to the fourth 